there everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you all are doing well if you are new here welcome my name is achola and here on achola's closet we talk fashion personal style and how to look and feel your best at any budget for today's video we are doing a luxury haul now i know luxury hauls are not everybody's cup of tea but I discovered a site where you can go on and buy your luxury for up to 90% off and I thought I'll share that with you guys and share my finds with you and um, what to expect and what not. But before we dive into the video, for the outfit of the day, I am wearing my MM6 top with a removable lace sleeve. Now this is MM6 Maison Mergella. I picked it up from Simon's for only 50 bucks. Can you believe that? Now I complete it with my Philip Lim, I know, favorite pens. I'm living in these pens. But um, yeah, so I complete it with this Philip Lim straight leg with the um, faux skirt in the front cannot tell you how much I love this pants but you already know I told you so many times I just I can't help myself I get so excited about this pants it's ridiculous now if you would like to see more of me my outfits of the day find me on Instagram at Achola's Closet for the video I want to talk the real real today now this is not a sponsored video in any way. I'm just doing this because I love the real real. And I love that, you know, instead of going on a hunt in thrift stores and whatnot, I can literally just go on the real and thrift, like thrift shop. You know what I mean? So if you haven't heard about the real real, right? The real real is one of the largest consignment stores or online stores in the world right now it's where you can sell your designer stuff or buy designer things for literally up to 90 percent off now for people who love handbags and whatnot i think this is the perfect place to go get your designer handbags for really good deals i think i told you a couple of videos back that during Labor Day weekend, they were having their $25 gift card promo. And then they also had this ridiculous sales that are like, honestly, 90, maybe more than 90% of the regular price. And I couldn't help myself. So I signed up. I got the $25 gift card and um, used it to order a couple of things now 25 dollar us in canadian was about 33 dollars so i had 33 dollars on top of all the sales and then i ordered two items at that time and it literally cost me with shipping and everything just under 100 bucks so it's like honestly why not i did that like twice <laughs> And I don't know if that's legal or not, but if you are like me and you want to do that, please, by all means, do that. I'm not sure if the promo is still happening, but they always have 20% off on, you know, anything that is regular price, not on sale sale. Um, you get 20% off of that just using the code REAL. Now, if you live in the States, your shipping fee, I think, is only about $15. Whereas if you live in Canada, now our shipping fee is about $40. If you live in New York City though, you have two stores that you can go to and actually shop in store. Um, there is one in Soho, New York. There is one in Madison, New York. And if you're in Hollywood, there is one in West Hollywood. Now, if you want to consign with them, there is a free in-home pickup. So they come and pick up your designer things for you. You don't have to go to the store. Another thing is you can go to the store and drop those things off. Um, the third way is literally just shipping it directly. I think that's more like international. Like if you live somewhere else, you have to ship it to them so they can sell it for you. I'm assuming so. 
definitely a perfect shop to go to and first item that i picked up is this philip Lim wool pants now this one right here you already know how i feel about it i cannot tell you enough but i feel so happy in these pants the second item is another philip Lim item i ordered this beautiful gorgeous silk multicolor blouse right here you've seen it in the latest in the last video this blouse i absolutely love now um i learned this recently that when you order things know that not everything is going to be perfect now they might be in great condition if you buy a new item with the tags attached and whatnot those are like pristine quality the first time when I was on the real reel about this blouse right here, it said light, light signs of wear throughout, but when the blouse came in, it's actually in great condition. Well, except for the tag right here. I need to, uh, you know, stitch it back. I haven't gotten to it yet, but this was in great condition. Now, when it came to the latest one, as I was looking through it and whatnot when it came in I noticed there is a lot of pulling you know I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera but you see like a lot of pulls especially on the cuff it's just way too much and because it is a final sale item unfortunately I cannot return it so now I'm stuck with it and I mean I'm okay with that to an extent right I was just disappointed that there is so many runs in it and didn't mention it but even though people might not be able to tell or see the damages on the cuff as I wear it for me I know that they're there and it's going to bug me for a long time so we'll see we'll keep it for now and then maybe I will donate it or something i will see how we feel about it in a few months now for the third item i ordered this beautiful theory vest now this one i'm not even joking this right here sold me like the cutout right it's just so beautiful now there is a lot of unique things on there they are you know from older seasons and whatnot but if that's something you don't care about I say why not for me personally I like to buy things that I love and that I think is unique I don't buy things because they're in trend or it's like the latest fashions things like that I never pay attention to that and um, because when you pay so much attention to that you end up buying a lot of things every single year because you're trying to keep up with the trend and you don't want to do that now this one right here is a mixture of wool and viscose I believe but I absolutely love it I love this little detail here now for the wool I'm not sure if it's still available but i know there is a linen version which i think will be perfect for summer paired with linen pants or even just nice white denim pants um and the price is i think 47 dollars and that's canadian so us it will be a little bit cheaper if that makes any sense same thing with euros like $40 might be about 20 euros or maybe 18 euros depending on the uh, rates for the day so but I absolutely love this vest and I can't wait to wear it out more next up is another Philip Lim item now this I know it just it makes me so happy like for the longest time I wanted a blazer with 
tail, right? Like I love the men's versions when I see them wearing it. I think they call, what do they call them? I put it somewhere up here, the name of the style, especially English men during weddings, they wear it a lot. It, it felt like it was meant to be. And um, as for size, this one here is a size four. Now, for Philip Lim, I'm kind of all over the place. Like for pants, it's between zero and two. And um, for tops, I can literally do, I have a size zero, a size two, and now a size four in the blazer. I hope, I honestly didn't know what to expect when I said a size four. I thought maybe it was going to be a little bit too big, but actually no. Another thing, I love about this jacket is the uh, detachable leather sleeve at the bottom here yes honey it comes off and um, when you remove the leather part this is what it looks like and um, for me I feel like you can wear this with a nice tuxedo pants a blouse for you know a gala or something like that and then when you add and when you add the leather sleeve part on, I just feel like, you know, it brings it, it makes it less formal. You can literally wear it with a t-shirt, jeans, or any top that you want. So now this is the jacket on. This side is without the leather, and this is the one with the leather. But I absolutely love them both and I love that I have the option, you know, to wear it with or without. In the last few years, I've only, uh, I think I own one Philip Lim top and, um, but I've always loved his thing. I got this beautiful skirt right here. Philip Lim for me is like the master of prints, like his colors. Are just so vibrant they make me happy honestly and um, this I just love I love the high-low style extremely short in the front but a little bit longer in the back and um, it just it fits beautifully now the slit I know it's so sexy but you also have the slip underneath so you're not flashing people you know we don't want to do that. We're too cool and too classy for that. Um, but yes, this one is absolutely one of my favorites. As for price, I think it was about $27 as well. Now for size, this one is a size zero. And that's what I mean, right? Size zero, a size two. But for the pens, for the size two, I feel like the waist just needs a little bit of taking in for it to sit better. Because right now I feel like, you know, it's just, it's just sitting there. It's not hugging me, which is not a good thing. As for the new boxes that I got here yesterday, um, it's a couple of things. So as I was there, and remember I was telling you on the real real you can get things that are still new with the tags attached and everything now this right here is a Rachel Zoe I told one of my co-worker over the weekend that I ordered a couple of things one of them is Rachel Zoe and the other one is Alexander McQueen and he said well I only know one designer out of these two so if you don't already know, Rachel Zoe is an American designer. I just love her pieces, like especially her pants. Every time I see that woman wearing her merch out, her and Victoria Beckham, ooh, so good. Um, especially their pants. And so when I saw this one on there, I was, honestly, I was excited and I thought, you know what, let me order it and see how long it's going to be. So let's try this one on and show you what it looks like. And here it is on. 
Now I ordered a size two in the Rachel Zoe and it just fits perfectly. It is a fit and flare, <laughs> right? Now as for the length, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed because I wanted it to be extremely long. Now I have to work with flats. I'm one of these girls, when I wear high heels with pants, I like my pants to completely cover my heels. You know what I mean? Um, I don't wanna wear pants and then have my heels kinda sticking out. It just, it makes no sense to me. But that's just me. So for this one, I think I'll be wearing it a lot more with flats just because of that. But I absolutely love this right here, the tuxedo design on it. I think it's beautiful and it fits comfortably. Now, regular price was 225 and I bought it for $27.50 US. So that's about 30 something dollars Canadian which is honestly not bad from 225, right? And then the other item I got, I know it's the gorgeous Alexander McQueen pants. Now I think this one is from a couple of years ago, but I absolutely love the design. I love the material, it feels amazing. 50% acetate and 50% viscose but it's such a great mix and it just hangs so well let's put this one on because i'm excited so for the alexander mcqueen pants right here i ordered a size 38 which was an equivalent of size 2 they said um but it fits good now my issue is down here it feels just a little bit tight i think it's the lining on the inside because the pants itself is fine so maybe i'll just chop the lining a little bit shorter that way it fits comfortably and um, the pocket is only on one side the full wrap detail i absolutely i'm obsessed like Things like this just gets me really excited. Like things with little details on them. And as you can see, it is more of a meat rice. So it just comes to my belly button. For the price, it was $69, which is absolutely not bad for this. I love it. Now, now one of the things I'm looking to get from Alexandra McQueen is a blazer because I am obsessed with their blazers. Right? It's just so chic. I love, love, love the fit. Next up, I want to talk to you about the self-portrait dress. Again, you've seen her in the last video, but she is one of the latest addition to the closet. And you know how I feel about her. I love everything about her, the color, the design. Baby's got pocket and all, open back, one of my favorite things. So I'm not gonna try it on because you guys already know what this one looks like. But last but not least is going to be this green white project suit right here. You already know how I feel about Y Project. The love is, you know, unconditional. And now this suit is from the uh, fall winter 2018-2019. And um, my budget for it, honestly, for the full suit, I was looking at about $300. Yes, I was willing to pay that much for it, but not more. And um, when it went down, it just, it wasn't low enough. So I ended up not buying one. My size sold before, you know, it got to my budget price. So I was like, okay, whatever. Now, 
one of my co-workers just happened to buy the full suit last year, right? Um, and then recently we were just chatting about how, you know, big our closets are and whatnot. And he mentioned that he is transitioning his closet into only black. First thing that popped into my head was, what are you doing with that white project suit that you bought last year? And um, he said that he's willing to sell it. Like he's selling all of his other, you know, different color things. So anything that is not black, he's getting rid of them. And um, I said, how much are you asking for this baby? He said, well, I bought it last year for like almost 500 bucks, but I don't give it to you for 200 bucks. So I said, why not? I'll take it. And um, I, I just, it makes me happy to add this thing into my white project collection. Now let's pop it on and show you what she looks like. So for the pants, I absolutely love this pants. I'm taking it in later today to my seamstress to get the hem, you know, hemmed up a little bit. And as for the jacket, I know baby's looking crazy, but hear me out. And now when it comes to alterations on this jacket, I feel like I like the sleeves this long. I don't want to do anything with it. I just think it looks so much cooler this long. However, if you look on the back, you see all of this, like this excess fabric kind of just hanging out. I'm going to take that, I'm going to have that taken in so it's a little bit more tailored so I won't have much of this kind of just, you know, hanging on the back there. As for the slits, now the slits are like this high. And as you can see, the jacket is already long. It's almost knee length. So I wanna be able to wear this blazer sometimes as a dress. So what I'm gonna have my seamstress do is kinda just, you know, close up the slit a little bit that way when i do wear it as a dress i don't have to wear you know like bike shorts underneath just to make sure i'm not flashing people when i go out i don't want any of that so that's what we're going to be doing on this suit and i'll love to show it to you guys once everything is done so you guys get to see what the new what this baby looks like after all the alterations but that is it for the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it also hit on that subscribe button if you haven't already and um, turn on your bell notification so you get notified every time i drop a video um i would love to hear your thoughts as always by leaving me a comment down below share the video and with that, you have a great rest of the day and I will see you very soon. Bye.